As we know, all plants need light in order to perform photosynthesis and thrive. Because plants vary in how much light they require in order to do so, it's helpful, particularly with indoor plants, to use grow lights to help better control the amount of light a plant receives every day. Now with LED grow lights, you can precisely control the type of light you give plants. Keep watching to find out more. Grow lights. From tomatoes to cannabis, all our plants and vegetables need a little help growing. Our LED grow lights use the latest in full spectrum light coverage to ensure big and strong plants with solid growth. There are a number of factors to consider when growing plants with grow lights. First, consider the intensity or the amount of light that reaches the surface of the plant. When you're growing under lights, you're able to better control the light intensity by the brightness of the bulb and how close it is to the leaves. Second, the duration or the number of hours of light a plant receives in a 24 hour period is very important. The rule of thumb is to leave grow lights on for about 16 hours per day so that you can give your plants about eight hours of dark. During the dark period, many plants are able to use some of the energy from the light to grow. In fact, the dark time for plants is absolutely crucial for plant growth. Light color. Next, you'll wanna consider the color of the grow lights. This is different from what we typically think of a color. Instead, here we're referring to the color temperature of the grow lights. Typically, grow lights allow for a balance of cool or blue light and warm or red light. Plants generally do not use very much light from the green or yellow part of the spectrum. Color temperature, which is referred to using the term kelvins, can either be on the bluish end, which would be 5000 kelvin lights, or the reddish end, or 2500 kelvin. Typically, lights on the blue end are good for growing vegetables, and lights on the red end are good for growing flowers and fruit. When in doubt, go full spectrum. Recent research has shown that full spectrum light is best for all kinds of growing. This is not surprising since the sun is the most full spectrum light source there is. Choose an R9 greater than 70 and a CRI greater than 90 for best results. Benefits of LED. Many growers are turning to LED grow lights for the numerous benefits, including the efficiency and ability to incorporate modern technology into their growing process. First, there's the peace of mind that comes with knowing that their light fixtures are better designed to help their plants grow. These LED grow lights utilize technology that allows them to provide a better spectrum of light to encourage growth for everything from vegetables to flowers. Second, growers can rest easy knowing that most LED units are all in one packages that do not have delicate filaments and glass bulbs that could pose a dangerous risk to their plants if something were to go wrong. Third, LEDs are up to 60% more efficient at converting energy to usable light compared to regular lights. The high efficiency characteristic of LEDs allows lower energy draw and a low heat signature. LEDs convert about 60% of their energy to light, while the other energy is given off as heat. Visit our site today for more info. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.